Welcome back, rail fans, to another video on Train Simulator Pro USA, otherwise known as the Maryland and Western Pacific Railroad. Hold on, I want my free 500 coins. And this mission, we are doing a wood run from Olympia Woodyard to Yakima Train Yard. What is the motive power for today? Well, it is P PS44, 8513. And F7 5771 and its two B units. So let's get started. Looks like the uh, problem with the F7s and and the B units have been fixed. That's good. We did put in an, another order for another B unit or an F7 unit, but we're not sure when it will show up. I honestly can't remember when we when or when and or if we're going to be getting a, a another uh, unit like the 70 57 71 the other ps 44s are leading a unit tanker train train from vancouver chemical factory all the way down to ontario so they got a long journey. One thing that would be really cool to see is like little human AI, like a human AI, like there's like AI vehicle traffic in the wood yards or something like that. That would be interesting to see, like having them load up car, cars that are empty that are being here for storage or having trucks in here and having them loaded up. That would be pretty interesting to see. But most everything that the states of Washington, Oregon, and Idaho get are through the Maryland and Western Pacific Railroad.
walking up to the last cut of cars and then we are on our way to Yakima where, where a GP9 is going to be splitting up the train instead of the normal GP7s. Is it turning night in the game? Yeah, it's turning night. Okay, my tablet is on. I wonder if they fixed the bug where when you turn the headlights on on the lead unit, the headlights on the F7 turn on as well. They did not. So, uh, developers, if you're seeing this video, can you please fix that bug, because it actually is a little bit annoying. But since the sun's going down... Slow down for that fifteen. And my cat decided to join me in my bedroom. Guys, I'm going to set the phone down real quick so that way I can shut my bedroom door. You know how I open doors, Captain? Can you learn how to close them behind you? Increase the speed. I think I'm just going to keep the low headlights on at, because it seems pretty bright since the F unit's headlights are also on. I don't know why that is. It's like that, but but it, it's kind of useful because it saves me from using the bright headlights. But every once in a while, I'll turn on the bright headlights.
don't know about y'all, but this would make like a great white noise video without the, with the exception of my voice. The sound of an idling engine and the rain pouring. Here comes the passenger train. It's the local passenger train. Probably they're bound for Tacoma or Salem. Or not Salem, Seattle. And here's a uh, train leaving Olympia Yard, probably filled with tools and cardboard, among other stuff. Here goes an express train. Right over there is where two RC-44s are parked. And the other two RC-44s in our E-38 e unit are all the way north up in Vancouver, Vancouver, Canada train yard. They're just sitting there right now.
to the local one, go to Pastor Train, I did not see it. Wow, he's actually pretty long for a local. Oh, speaking of uh, passenger runs, uh, I got word that the FRA is scheduled to stop by and uh, see how our railroad is doing in the uh, coming week. So, we are going to have a video on when the FRA visits. Hopefully, they think everything's alright. You know, for how old these EMD F units are, they haul pretty good. Maybe one day they can haul a long train like this on their own. I just put this PS44 on it for a extra precaution. I still don't fully 100% trust them. But they seem to be doing good when reversing and they still seem to be doing good now. So when we stop at Yakima, I'm, after we detach from our train, I'm going to run them over to the Kenwick Auto Shop and uh, make sure and talk to the mechanic and have them do a full inspection on the F units and then who knows maybe we'll be able to see them on big trains like this Cause look the train's still going around the curb and it still hasn't ended yet there's an express train Almost at Yakima. There's a GP9 leading empty hopper train. SPMXs for the oil oil factory and there's another GP9 leading empty box cars for for the Olympia train yard GP9s aren't that far away either. They're probably roughly 20 miles away from Kenwick. Or not Kenwick, the Akima train yard.
So all the loads go on the far empty track, and the other stuff gets mixed in with these tankers and this refrigerated car and on this track that I'm currently on. Disconnect wagons. Not bad bit of cash either. No, I don't want the what what Okay, claim this. I didn't even know that. Alright, let me check all this. What's all this? Okay, so I got diesel, petrol, piping, steel beams, food, more food, pilots, and wood logs. Okay, just curious on what all that is. And basically, what I said about the assistance is true. I'm just going to clear this. But... Basically, it's an offline uh, money-making thing. All right. Oh, that's good. Hmm. See? I don't want to do any of these missions tonight as they are a long mission and I don't feel like I have the... Uh, energy to be up for that long. But oh, I'll use two GP sevens for a coal train. Since it's a local run, we can do that. Back when this series first started, all we had were these GP7s, and we didn't have a railroad name. Then I decided to name us the Washington and Western Railroad, and that lasted for quite some time. And then, uh, after a, we uh, bought the Utah and Arizona Railroad, the railroad line that ran the, uh, ran the, in the state of Oregon, we became the Washington and Oregon Railroad, but now, and but that was short-lived, and then we became the Maryland and Western Pacific Railroad. In lead, we have 706, and behind it is 760. And to save them, we go. Salem is a very, very small yard. So only local trains stop there. Like how this is like a five car coal train for Salem. It will only stop there. If we were hauling more, it would not stop at Salem.
I can't remember the last time we. I think the last time we hauled a train this short was back during uh, season one. But these two GP7s will uh, stay at Salem. And then they're probably. Because I'm going to see what's at Salem, and then uh, I'll come up with a plan on what they're going to be doing. If they're going to stay, if one's going to stay, and the other's going to haul a train. I don't know. Let's just wait until we hit Salem, and then I'll come up with a plan. I forgot how fast they break the braking power on the GP7s are. Your grain hoppers. Okay. How many hoppers are there? Six. Okay. Some are loaded, uh, some are for uh, AMFX, and the other three are SPMX. Alright. This is how small a Salem train yard really is. It's really, that platform right there is mainly for an interchange depot. for a long mammoth trains. Alright. Really was specialized. Anyways guys, that's going to do it for this episode of Train Simulator Pro USA. I really hope you enjoyed, and make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Have a good night.